Hello, uh, my name is Gustavo Morejon and uh, I'm from Ecuador, from Cuenca, Ecuador. It's in South America, in the south part of, uh, of Ecuador. Here we are surrounded by very beautiful forests and uh, the Andes, of course. And uh, one of the main challenges for us in the next coming years is going to be to face all the changes that uh, will probably take place because of the uh, climate change. Uh, this is where uh, Save Bio starts. Save Bio is a project designated to uh, give some tools to the people to collaborate with scientists in the process of understanding how climate change will affect our cities. Um, here in uh, in Cuenca, we are surrounded by beautiful rivers and we still have many forests. Not all of our trees are native. We want to keep as much as we can of our forests uh, in prevention of the effects of climate change. But uh, we need uh, to educate people as well. And uh, we need to um, let people uh, help scientists because more of the people when uh, they are facing the news of uh, global warming, uh, climate change, uh, and all this bad news for us, they simply don't know what to do. And what we are going to do is we are going to give them some tools to help us understand climate change. Three years ago, um, I went to uh, the uh, office of the authority in charge of the management of the forests in the city and uh, the manager told me that uh, they don't know how many trees we have and if we have uh, more trees in the city so it was very shocking for me because uh, I thought okay if we don't know how many trees we have or the area that uh, is covered by forests in the in the city how are we going to understand how many trees we need in order to give a balance to the emissions of CO2 and uh, um, the conversion of CO2, the fixation of CO2 from the atmosphere. Then what I said is, uh, okay, if the municipality, if the government don't have enough money to do that, okay, there are citizens that can do that. There are citizens that are able to uh, tackle the problem by uh, making the inventory by themselves, by ourselves, we citizens, we can help doing that. And Sebio was born then. It's a citizen science tool designed to help the municipalities and the governments to uh, inventory, monitor, and protect the forests of the cities. Okay, when uh, I initially told people about this project, to my friends, to my family, to all the people around, uh, they told me, uh, okay, it's, it's quite a big job, you know, you're going to count every single tree in the city, probably we have, I don't know, four millions, six million trees. Okay, what I said is, well, we are something like uh, half a million people in, uh, in Cuenca. And um, I said, okay, it is going to take us some time, but if uh, we can put all these people together, okay, we're going to have an army to uh, fix it, to do that. Well, soon I realized that one of the problems was going to be definitely vandalism. There are people that uh, they simply take off all the labels that we were using in the trees, uh, despite the fact that we were uh, expressly um, printing in the, in the labels that it was helping us to understand the climate change. When I was a child, my father uh, always took us, my uh, mother and my brothers, uh, to the um, rainforests, to the mountains. We used to go to uh, climb mountains and to uh, explore forests. And I think that since then, um, my more my deepest desire was to become a scientist and to study nature. And I think that um, it influenced a lot of me on what I am today. And uh, I think that uh, uh, SAFE, in part, is helping me 
to do the same for other people, to make people understand the importance of nature, the importance of the wildlife around us, and uh, also to show us that uh, uh, we can live together, wildlife and us. We can make our cities greener, uh, healthier, and share this world with wildlife. Well, at the end, a final me me message will be that uh, as a child, I think that um, I learned how to love nature. When I studied biology, um, I realized that uh, uh, we needed a lot of, of work, especially in education and research, to change the world. Uh, I think that from me, from my perspective, the world is one, there are no countries. All, all of this separation, all of these countries, all these races, languages, and ideas that separate us is our, our, our own our minds. It's just in our heads, and we have to throw it. It's pure garbage. And um, now with SAFE, uh, some of the greatest things that I realized is that people is good inside, and people can help, and people can work. Uh, the project is expanding beyond our initial goals. Uh, we've solved a lot of problems uh, and uh, we are really honestly working for a better place. Uh, I wish that I can uh, um, apply this system and uh, not just inventory trees uh, in the cities and wild, wildlife in the cities, but teach people about the amazing wildlife that we have in our world. That's my main goal and that's what we are doing with SAVE. We are converting all the cities in giant botanical gardens where people can learn and uh, respect nature. Thanks.